Good morning. Um, it's really early. I'm gonna do a vlog today. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna vlog my day. Um, it's 6.30, so I'm gonna go take him out. Might take a nap, don't know. Um, but yeah, we're gonna just see where the day takes us today. And yeah, I already brushed my teeth, washed my face. I'm just gonna wear my pajamas to walk him. I mean, they're not pajamas, but it's what I slept in. Um, all right, so <laughs> I'm gonna go do that. been cooking his food for quite some time now uh, meaning I make all of his food sorry you can't see me <laughs> but um I'm finding myself really unable to keep up at times so I'm trying this new kibble well I don't know if it's new but it's new to us it's called open farms I don't know if you can see it it's supposed to be all natural there's no way to tell because legally they don't have to tell us what's in what they, in the supplies that they ordered. So um, yeah, that could be a problem. So I'm just regulating his poop. I'm regulating his skin just to see how he adapts to it. See if I notice that there might be any unnecessary filler in the food and we're gonna go from there. And sometimes he has his whole like home cooked meal and then sometimes I'll just give him some of the kibble with the um, meal that I cooked. <laughs> just wake up and stay awake but I was going to bed so much earlier and now I'm just like my whole sleep schedule is all over the place and I just you know what depression hit me and I've just been all over the place like just my brain is just scrambled so I'm hoping this week that I can kind of gain control um, over some things <laughs> in my life and maybe I'll take you along with me. It's never easy and I really wanna be transparent with you guys. Um, it's really not easy, um, but you know, sometimes you just have to take it into your own hands and I feel like I've just allowed this to really take over my life enough and I'm just ready to get back into my regular routine and feeling good you know and it's not to say I don't feel good right now I'm you know but I have my moments um so as always I always talk about this um I'm gonna put the niacinamide the ordinary niacinamide 10 percent in the zinc one percent I'm just gonna put that all over my face I find that this really helps my pores um I haven't been consistent with it for the past few weeks but I'm trying to remember to do it so I'm just putting that on my bare face today um because it's getting kind of hot today I didn't know it was going to be really hot so I don't want to put any um, moisturizer because on my face is going to be like so oily because I sweat a lot. This doesn't really um, do that. It just kind of dries and just sinks into my skin. I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to put that on today. 
and some lip balm. And you don't, you don't ever want to like rub it in too much because as you're doing that, it's drying and it becomes like really tacky. Um, and then it, it looks like it's still wet over time, but it's dry. I think that that's, I know I mentioned in my last vlog, I have to put so much. And for me, the waxier, the lip balm, the better. I don't know what it is, but I have like really, really like prone, like dry, dry lips if I don't stay on top of it. Um, so now as always, I'm gonna use the Moroccan oil. You know what? I use this every single day and I know I don't have a lot of hair anymore, but I do use a good amount. I don't know if you can see that, but it's still pretty full and I've had this for a few months now. And I think I wanna try their shampoo. I just like, this is one of the only products that work in my hair that don't lay my hair down too much because I have pretty thin hair and any oil that I put on it, it just looks oily. <laughs> it makes my hair look really oily and this kind of just brings some life into it and add some shine. It's more like a dry oil. I don't know if you guys ever had a dry oil, but it's like a dry oil and I just take the excess and I just rub it on my arms. And I do want to show you guys some of my favorite things in this uh, vlog and it's going to be kind of spaced apart in, in the video. So <laughs> Do your thing if you need to fast forward to find my favorite things, but I do because they're just all scout scattered around the house. So if I see them, I wanna show you guys. Um, but so I in the winter time I have like really bad dry skin, um, especially on my arms. And um, I don't know if you're like me, but I lean on my elbow a lot, especially when I'm editing. Um, and so I was on Instagram and I saw this ad. For this cloth it's like a mitt and you just rub it all over your arm and all of the skin it just comes right off it's it just really exfoliates your skin and I was so amazed I was like oh my god this is so cool I'm gonna like try and get one I clicked it and it's pretty pricey for what they give you so I went on Amazon to try and find something similar and I actually found two for like $12 and this is it, excuse it, I've been using it for quite some time. And you just put it on your hand and it works with like the water. So like the, your skin, like you don't want any soap on your body when you're doing this, otherwise it won't work. You want like, you don't want too much water. So just like kind of get out of the water, like just lift your arm up if you're in the bath or like stand up and just do your leg. If you're in the shower, just walk away from like the nozzle and you just kind of just go like this. And if you have really dry skin, you're going to be amazed. It's really great. Put some skin and some, sorry, <laughs> put some lotion on afterwards. And it's just so soft. I use this maybe like once every week, um, once every week and a half. And it just really change the game. If you have like bumps in the back of your legs, or the back of your butt, maybe the back of your arms, it's just, wow. <laughs> like you've never had anything like this before, I promise you. Also, I got these jean shorts. My cousin messaged me and said, you gotta check out these shorts. She sent me a picture of her wearing them and I loved them and I had to get a pair. They are kind of like Levi's and um, the thing is, is they sent the shorts with a tag, a metal tag. So I'm unable to wear them, but these are the shorts. Um, I'll link them down below. I think I'm actually going to get a second pair because I love them so much. You can even, I've tried this, you can even fold it one more time and they still look really, really good. I'm gonna hold the camera cause you couldn't see my shorts. I have been looking for a pair like this 
for the longest time. I can never find the Levi's, so these are a game changer and they're so comfortable. They have a bit more room than my other shorts, which is great because when I sit down, it just kind of hikes all the way up and it just kind of hurts. Um, here's the bag. I don't really have an ass in them, but they're just so comfortable. I think I'm actually gonna get another pair. Again, here is where I rolled it up one time, and this is just rolled up as it came. I think I like it rolled up like that because they're still long enough and it kind of adds to my booty a little bit. But yeah, I gotta go and see if the physical store is gonna take that off for me. <laughs> If not, maybe I'll buy a magnet to take it off, but we'll see. We'll see. I just don't want to go through having to send it back. Um, but okay, so I'm going to change. <laughs> I'm going to head downstairs and eat something. The doorbell rang when I was coming down the stairs. Um, I did get a package. And it came open like this. But everything that was sent at the same time arrived. I'm still waiting. I was a little scared because they had sent some other stuff separate. So I was like thinking it was stolen, but it's not. I double checked and it's on its way. Um, so I did get a few things for myself. And then I got a few things for my niece and nephew that I thought they would like. I got a pair of cargo shorts. They're like thin and he can wear them, oh, my nephew, he can wear them in the pool um, and on really hot days, so that's good. I got him this cute shirt, again, really thin, good and breezy. And I actually got my niece a dress to match. And this is all from Old Navy. I don't know if America has it, um, but this is from the Canadian Old Navy. Um, I got these pajamas for my niece. It's a onesie. They looked really cozy. And another dress. I want her to open these, so I don't really wanna open the bags. Um, there should be a pair of pajamas coming for my nephew as well. And um, yeah. And then for myself, I got some regular black, uh, I think they're four inch shorts. I just love the length of these because they don't ride up. And um, yeah, I don't have a pair. So I wanted to try these. The material isn't really like sweat wicking. It's more like, um, kind of feels like a, not a sweat, a sweater, but like, it just feels not the best material to wear when you're sweating. And I got leggings as well. Same material, it seems. I don't know how they're going to feel on, but I like the color. I like the width of the band. So, and I'm also going for more neutrals. So I wanted to try these. The material doesn't seem like anything... I would pick for active wear, but it is what it is. I got this nice top as well, just to match the leggings. Maybe I'll try it on for you later. We'll see, hopefully they fit. Again, the material is, I wasn't expecting this material. I was expecting, they made it seem like it was like a buttery soft, like, uh, like Lululemon, uh, li um, Liquido Active type, deal, but it's actually just that stretchy material. But who knows, maybe for like restorative yoga, I can wear it. Definitely not running because these ones, you'll definitely see the sweat. The black shorts, I will wear running because that's what I bought them for. Um, and you probably won't be able to see the sweat too much, but I think they're really cute if I like them. I will definitely buy more. The price isn't on them, but they were pretty cheap.
tap water. It's so annoying. Um, I'm just going to make coffee. show you guys the salads that I am obsessed with. Well, I'm going to show you one today. Um, so this is the brand and they make a few vegan. It's not sold as vegan, but they're perfectly fine for a vegan lifestyle, cruelty free. And this is just a couscous salad. They're really good and just perfect for when you don't feel like cooking. Um, I eat all of, most of my meals at home. Sometimes when I'm out, I'll go for a vegan option like KFC. I've been obsessed with their vegan, their plant-based chicken sandwich. It is so good. Oh my God. I get two every time and I do eat two every time, but I feel too full after. So one is definitely enough for me. Um, but it's so good. If you haven't tried it yet, you should definitely go and try it. So recently I turned 32. Time is really, <laughs> time is really going. It's really, I can't believe that I'm 32 years old. It's so crazy to even say. Sometimes I have to like think about my age and say, what? My 32 or my 30? Like time is just going by. And I said that last time too in my previous uh, vlog. Time just goes by so quickly. Sometimes I was talking to my mom and sometimes it just feels like while we're all sleeping, it's like we're in some sort of vortex or like while we're even still awake, we're just in a vortex and we're like programmed and like time just speeds up. <laughs> it's just so crazy sometimes. It's just insane. And with my birthday always comes my a sobriety anniversary from alcohol. So I think that marks six years being sober without any alcohol and it has been a daily battle ever since um, it's never just gonna go away it's always gonna be there um, and I just have to be strong and keep going if you're on the same journey keep going I'll always talk about this and I'll always you know encourage those who are on that journey you know, it, it does get easier, but it is still a daily battle. And you just gotta know why you came down this path to sobriety and just keep pushing forward. And it's just, life is just so much better. Like, it's crazy. Like, I never could imagine, I never imagined this. Like, this is like 360, like, it's crazy I came this far and I'm, proud of myself. I'm proud of everybody else who has done so as well. And for everybody who's making the effort, you know, who, who, who's trying because it's never easy, no matter what your addiction is. I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning the leaves of my plants. It's been some time. Um, I have to do it just to keep them maintained and pest free. So I'll be moving it around the house to help me clean them and all I use is uh, a dry paper towel just to get the dust off and then I'll use a wet paper towel and just kind of um, wash any whatever off any dust leftover dust so we'll go and do that and I find this really therapeutic this is like this is something I enjoy and it's not necessarily a task for me and I find it just like I can I wish I had like a hundred plants that I can just spend my day just touching and like cleaning <laughs> and while you're doing this you can always just take this time to like look under the leaves for any pests especially 
especially this alocasia, if you have alocasia, so really uh, subject to getting spider mites. I've had my issues with this guy as well. So you never want to, for me personally, I don't ever transfer one cleaning paper towel to another um, just because you never know. You just really never know what you might be transferring to your other plants. So I do always use a new one and this just helps the plant to really soak in the sun, get its nutrients. Again, nothing special, just a paper towel um, and some water. You can even spray the leaves with a spray bottle and then wipe it all down. Apparently, spider mites hate moisture, so I try to actually, I could be wrong, so don't quote me. Um, I try to mist this one often. Just wanna show you guys the new life form black and gold mat. It is stunning. If you want to grab yourself a live form anytime, you can use my affiliate code um, Yoga with Bird, and I'll link it down below. I'll leave the code. These mats are just so awesome. I have done two giveaways already, and I hope to do some more. They're just the most amazing mats. Okay, so I told you guys that I was gonna trinkle in some of my favorite things. I got this a huge contraption and I wasn't expecting it to like be, sorry my hand's in the way, I wasn't expecting it to be anything extravagant or like actually work the way it does. Oh, I hope, oh no it unplugged anyways you'll get the idea. So there's these balls in the back and they all turn and it like, it's like a deep tissue massage. Like I'm, I'm not just saying like, it's not one of those ones that just like vibrate or like move just a bit. Like it gets in there and it is the most amazing massager. I'm gonna link it down below. Everything that I talk about in this video, I'll just like add it down below. Someone also asked, um, I don't have the questions. <laughs> in front of me, I'm just like checking Instagram. Um, someone asked, how do I know which poses to put in the yoga classes? And there's no rules. Um, I'm taught to kind of sing, see, sequence classes in a way that they kind of fit like puzzle pieces. So you'll see a lot of that in my classes. It's all creative. It's it's art. It's creativity, and it's just as a teacher, what feels good for you, you should always teach. So, what feels good for me, if I wing it, um, and you just have to let go of the idea of of having to having to have the class to be a certain way because otherwise someone's going to strike you down with lightning you know what I mean like that's not it's not the way it is and that's how we're made to feel a lot I feel I, I find in society with yoga it's like you have to do it a certain way or you don't know how to teach yoga I'll answer one more question because um this one really caught my eye someone asked and again, I don't know the exact wording because I'm not reading it straight from Instagram, but with the idea, someone asked, they've been doing yoga, I think for 10 weeks or 10 months, I could be wrong, um, and they can't touch their toes still. Um, how long will it be to touch their toes? Um, so this topic with flexibility cannot be answered because... I'm not your body, you know? I can't tell you when you're gonna gain flexibility. And if any teacher tells you that there's a timeline that you're gonna gain flexibility or a certain uh, amount of flexibility, 
they're lying to you because there's no way for them to tell. There's many factors that come into play. What kind of yoga are you doing? If you're doing gentle stretching, chances are you're gonna gain a little bit of flexibility, but not flexibility to where you're, you know, really like, you know, flexible. If you're doing deep stretches, if you're really focused on flexibility training, I don't do flexibility training. I do do yoga classes that do tap into flexibility, of course, um, like the deeper stretches, yin yoga. And if you see a class that says um, yoga for flexibility, these are where we focus more on alignment. So if your alignment is off, and you're not focused on alignment, especially with touching your toes. This has to do with your hamstrings. It has to do with your lower back, your chest. The entire body is connected. So say you're going into a forward fold and your lower back is rounded, okay? You're not lifting through the tailbone, which means you're not lengthening through the backs of the legs, and you're not really going to get that full stretch. You're not gaining the benefit of the forward fold. So you really want to think if you're folding forward, trying to touch your toes, you want your back nice and straight. Your, your spine is in a neutral position, and this isn't easy for everybody because everybody is posture is different. Everybody's ability is different. Um, so what you do want is you want your spine in as a neutral position as possible. Um, lead with your chest. So don't round forward. You want to open the chest almost like a string is pulling your chest forward and a string is pulling your tailbone back. So you want to hinge at the hips and maybe I'll just, I'll show you right now. I'm sorry for the coloring, but so here you are, you want to fold forward. I'm sorry, you're not seeing everything. So you're standing up straight, you want to fold forward. So you want to lead with the chest and pull the tailbone back. Lead, lead, lead. Keep going. You can keep a bend in the knees. I'm keeping a bend in my knees. I still feel that stretch. If you can straighten the legs, even better, okay? Stop wherever you feel the stretch. So a lot of people think the more forward that they can fold, the more they're benefiting. And that's not true because if you're up here and you feel the stretch in the backs of the legs, you're benefiting more than if you were to just fold forward and not feel a stretch, if that makes any sense. So you want to straighten the legs if you can. If you can't, keep a slight bend and you want to really feel that stretch. So just keep folding forward. You can put your hands on blocks just to keep your back nice and straight and so you don't exert yourself. Engage the core and just keep progressing from there. It's not a race. Um, ask yourself why you want this flexibility. Flexibility is great for when we start to age. It's great for when, you know, even when we're young, just to really uh, maintain our body. Um, when we're older, we want to be able to bend down and pick some stuff up. So it's really good to maintain. But um, if, you know, gymnastics isn't something you're interested in, maybe you just want to be more kinder to your body instead of uh, overdoing it if that's the case. And respect your limits. Um, if you do want to gain a lot of flexibility, like just to have some party tricks <laughs> up your sleeve, um, do some deep stretches, really focus on the alignment. Again, you don't want to like fold forward like this. You want to do your best to have that nice neutral spine alignment folding forward. Now, if your back is rounded, that's perfectly fine. Do your best to work on straightening, you know, straightening your back and folding forward. It's one at a time. Just take your time um, and you're going to get there. All right, so I hope that trick, um, that tip <laughs> helped. All right, I'm super sweaty. I just took Rocky out for his afternoon walk and we ran in the field. We played tuggy outside, it was really fun. Um, so yeah, I'm really sweating. But I'm trying on my 
new items and all of everything I'm going to try on today is from Old Navy, not sponsored. <laughs> I bought these with my own money just to try them out. Again, I thought they were going to be a different material, um, but they're definitely not good for like sweat. But these are the shorts. I still like them. They're just super basic and great for running. Um, I've been looking for a short like this. These are a-okay for me. I know when I run in them, they're gonna get sweaty, but I don't really care. Here is the light brown outfit. I think it's cute. Definitely not gonna wear this for any sweaty activities. Again, the material is like a stretchy material that shows all of your sweat. But I think it's cute for like restorative yoga. I'll definitely use it to film in. Um, maybe run errands in. This is a great one to put like a, a button up over. Maybe like toss a sweater over. So it's really comfortable. I like the top, but the top fits kind of weird. And this top is definitely going to show all of your sweat. So yeah, I find it fits weird like what is that like why is it it's like pushing my boobs out the side um could be the padding maybe i'll try without the padding but yeah here it is i'll link everything below i really do like this outfit i like the leggings especially they're just a regular legging and yeah it'll be good for everyday stuff and restorative yoga all right i'm back in another outfit <laughs> Um, this is what I'm going to be wearing. Uh, my mom's going to come pick me up with my niece and I get to see her and hug her and, uh, yeah, bring her home. This is the outfit. These jeans, they are my favorite jeans. They are nice and like comfortable. They're loose-ish, but like fitted at the same time. I got this whole outfit at Fashion Nova. I'm going to go and I'll see you when I get back. Watching, okay, well, catching up on oh, 90 yeah. Day Fiance. Oh, it's my favorite show right now. So cute. I got home not long ago um, and it was really nice seeing my niece. Um, she was with her father this week, this weekend with my mother. Um, I just had so much work to do this weekend. I wasn't able to see her, so it was really nice to see her and laugh with her. But I will end this vlog here because it seems like it just went forever. Like, I can talk forever, and I'm really exhausted, <laughs> and I have so much work to still do. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get some editing done, and then I actually might film a class before bed. If not, I'm going to film early tomorrow morning. Uh, get some stuff done and yeah and then plan my week I have some stuff I want to do this week so maybe I'll film let me know in the comments if you enjoy these longer uh, videos this is a really long video I'm so sorry I don't know how it gets that way <laughs> I can really talk it's crazy I don't know how I'm so introverted but I can like talk up a storm um, or if you prefer like the shorter class the shorter <laughs> shorter videos not classes shorter videos so if you'd like like the vlogs to be like maybe five or ten minutes or if you really like the longer version i don't know um so yeah i really appreciate that you spent this time with me that you uh, took the time out of your day to watch me and share this time with me it means a lot i'm gonna sign off here get my work done and um yeah i'll see you next time with love Thank you.